Hi, welcome back to the channel. My name is Bill. My radio call sign is Whiskey X-Ray 4 Alpha Romeo. And uh, today we're going to do an unboxing. Uh, this will not be a part of my uh, my new shack series, even though it has to do with my new shack. In, in fact, it's a major component of my new shack, but this is going to be a separate unboxing video. Now, what are we unboxing today? big box here is the MFJ 1786 magnetic loop that covers 10 meters to 30 meters and let me tell you the story behind this mag loop about 11 weeks ago I ordered I ordered it from ham radio outlet and 11 weeks later they never sent it to me it's on back order now I know it's not HRO's fault. It's most likely uh, MFJ's fault. But uh, last week I posted on a Facebook group about uh, you know my situation, how long it's been taking, and someone mentioned that DX Engineering has two in stock. Okay. Well, when I got around to looking at DX Engineering, there was only one in stock. So I quickly pulled the trigger and I ordered from MFJ and it was shipped the next day. Uh, it took um, four days, maybe, to get here. And I'm trying to uh, cancel my HRO order. I called them on Saturday and they told me they would take care of it on Monday morning. And now here it is uh, Wednesday evening and they still have not done it. So I have to call back, call them back tomorrow. All right, well, let's uh, open this thing up and see what it looks like. And uh, oh, a little, I just heard a little thunder, too. Wonderful. Um, I apologize in advance this, if this video is a little choppy. I do not have my uh, uh, tripod with me, so I'm going to kind of have to cut, cut the video, you know, open the box and video some more and cut the video and so on and so on. All right, let's stand by and let's get this thing open. Okay, this is what came in the box. There's the mag loop. And the box there should contain the uh, control box. All right, let me uh, get the rest of this packaging off and I'll open up that box and we'll take a look inside. Really looking forward to this antenna. Okay, this is what came in the uh, small box. There's the uh, the controller, MFJ Super High Q Loop. Now, High Q means basically it only tunes a very small portion of the band. If you move too far away from the frequency you're on, you're gonna have to retune. But uh, that's okay. Uh, I do a lot of uh, FT8 work. So I'm basically going to be on the same frequency all the time. It also comes with a, a power adapter, AC power adapter. Now, from what I understand, this is, does not have a ground. It is a non-ground uh, power adapter. Uh, they say you cannot use a, one that is grounded. Uh, I'm not positive why. If I had to make a guess, I assume it has something to do with if the power supply was grounded, and the fact that the, the power to turn the, uh, the motor in the antenna goes through the coaxial cable, a grounded power adapter would probably ground out the antenna. That's just a guess on my part, but I, I think that's uh, pretty accurate. Uh, one thing, uh, I thought this came in silver. I did see it in black on some pictures, but I was kind of hoping for the silver. But now that I have the black, it doesn't look too bad. Um, it's still thundering out. We have a storm that's not over us, but it's nearby. I am going to uh, 
probably go ahead and be stupid and hook it up anyway. It's it's in the, it's in, gonna be indoors. Um, oh, by the way, that's that's it with all the wrapping, the packaging off of it. Uh, right now, I think I'm just gonna kind of put it over here by the window. Uh, I don't know if you've seen my past videos, but eventually, I'm gonna run a coaxial cable in that closet there, up through the attic crawl space, and I'm gonna place this um, horizontally in the crawl space. Uh, oh, by the way, down there is the mounting hardware, so this can be mounted either horizontally or vertically. Uh, right now, I'm just going to do it vertically, but when I get it up in the attic, it's going to be horizontally. I think they said it should be uh, at least 10 meters in height in order to uh, do it horizontally. Uh, I'm already on the second floor, and since it's going to be up in that attic crawl space, I'm sure... I'm at least 10 meters, if not more. All right, well, stand by and uh, let me uh, hook this thing up and see if it works. Okay. Okay, I have this temporarily set up here. Control box there is on the desk. And uh, it's behind me, I know it's, it's horrible. Uh, it takes a little bit of getting used to to tune this. All right, first of all, we're gonna go with 10 meters. You need to, uh, I'm gonna go to AM, and I'm gonna put uh, about five watts through, and I'm gonna hit the down button. And then hear that buzz? And over here it tells you this minute little measurement, say right there. I have a 1.1 to 1 match on 10 meters. Bing, bang, boom. And that's FT8. All right, let's see. 12 meters. Again, go to AM, push a little power, go down. One point one to one. All right, let's go to fifteen meters. Give it AM. Push a little power. Hit the down button. Tells me to go up. Very sensitive. That's right there. That's 1.1 to 1. Can't beat that. All right, let's go to 17 meters. Can go to AM. Transmit. Hit the down button. Oh, wasn't just a little tiny dip there. All right, it's about a 1.3 to 1, something like that. It's That's acceptable. All right, let's go to 20 meters. No, 20 meters. AM, push a little power, hit the down button. I don't, I don't even need to move it. 1.1 to 1. Nice strong signal. Um, right, here's uh, 30 meters, which is the uh, lowest this antenna goes, or excuse me, the highest in frequency this goes. Um, AM, push a little power, hit the down button. And we're waiting patiently. All 
Alright, read one. That's 30 meters. Hopefully uh, this will even be work better once I get it up in the attic workspace. Or attic crawl space, excuse me. Alright, well, let me turn this down. I think we're going to end this video here. And uh, I will definitely be making more videos in the future on this antenna and uh, my shack. Stay tuned for uh, part three of my new shack. That should be coming within a week or two. And uh, until then, thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this content, uh, please give me a big thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel and have a great day. 73 and good DXing.